Hello! I hope you guys really did enjoy that video, the tribute music video for Black Ops Cold War. I really had a lot of fun making it, and I really hope you guys did enjoy it, and this is the reason why you're seeing this video in the first place. I, I just wanted to say that there's going to be some questions about it, you know, why did I make it, etc, etc. So allow me to elaborate. So, the reason why I made this tribute video was because... Call of Duty isn't appealing. I don't care about Vanguard. Call of Duty has made me lose interest in uh, the whole genre and the whole franchise in the first place. And a lot of elements are to play. For example, skill-based matchmaking. I may be a Zombies player, but I do play multiplayer. And the sad thing is, skill-based matchmaking ruins that experience for me. Also, another reason is because the lack of content for zombies. The reason why I play multiplayer is because I get bored of zombies and I need something else to play, which is why I go to multiplayer. And because of skill-based matchmaking, it's not fun at all. And the reason why I made this tribute video is... I'm done. Call of Duty is no longer fun. I get it. Vanguard is coming out. Treyarch is the lead developers for the zombies mode in Vanguard. I get that. But... It doesn't look appealing. Like, put Modern Warfare 2019 side by side with Cold War. You can tell the difference between the two. And you can tell the difference between the gameplay. Now, look at Modern Warfare 2019 and Vanguard. Besides the World War II era, they look exactly the same. And I think Vanguard's gonna have a way more strict uh, skill-based matchmaking. I may not have told anyone this, or if you guys didn't know, I am not big into Battle Royale, which is why I don't play a lot of Warzone. Legit, the only reason I play Warzone is because I want to play with the new guns, play with Modern Warfare guns, and I end up playing on Plunder anyway, so it's not for me. Or some, like, big landscape TDM. I just don't see a reason to play this anymore. It's not fun. It's no longer casual, and I've grown tired. With Halo Infinite coming out and actually Back for Blood coming out tomorrow, actually, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot more fun with those two games. I'm not sure about Battlefield. I've heard a lot of reviews about 2042. Is that even the time period? It's just that there's a lot of glitches for the beta, so a lot of people are getting criticism towards it and just telling them what they can do to make it better, all those things like that. Also, I have a problem with some of those people out there. People who are telling people who are complaining about the beta, it's like, it's just the beta. That's the point. They want you to criticize it. They want you to tell them what they can do to fix it. Really? You gonna tell me it's just a beta? Last but not least, like I said, I'm done with Call of Duty, which is why I made this tribute video in the first place. Zombies is no, it, it is fun. It is fun. The Forsaken is a fun map. Don't get me wrong. I love the Forsaken, but as soon as the hype dies down and everyone is moving on to Vanguard, it's my final game. I'll be moving on from Call of Duty. Unless they can do something to change it, I guess. I don't know. I'm having doubts with Back for Blood. Considering the fact that, you know, Back for Blood, yeah, maybe a zombie game, but I don't play Call of Duty Zombies because of zombies. I play it because it's an endless horde mode. It gives me something to play. It's an endless horde mode that just makes me powerful. The reason why it's so fun is because you start off with just something weak. You know, you start off with nothing but just a weapon you really can't rely on. I mean, you can rely on it, but it's not going to get you far. And while, yes, it's not difficult at first, it can be challenging to those who are new at it. So, so I don't play zombies because of zombies. Which is why I don't like Outbreak. Outbreak's not that fun. I mean, it can be fun, but not for me. I'm more of a solo player, so it makes sense why it's not fun for me. But it's also because of how open it is. I like the enemies coming to me. 
and having to survive for as long as I can. And unless Back for Blood has some, like, endless horde game mode, um, yeah, I'm probably going to still be playing Black Ops Cold War. But like I said, Black Ops Cold War may be my final Call of Duty game unless they pull through. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Thank you for watching the tribute video. I can't wait to upload some more videos about certain things. With Halo coming out in December and Back for Blood coming out um, tomorrow. I'll see you guys some other time. I also realized that the types of videos I like making are like compilations of videos. Like compilations of clips. Which is why I found the tribute music video so fun to make. It was just taking all the gameplay I had and shoving it all into one big project. So I might keep doing that type of content for Splitgate, Halo, Back for Blood, you know, some things like that. And maybe I'll start live streaming over at Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, go into the description below. It's right there. This That's my explanation as to why I decided to make the tribute music video. And again, I'm not leaving Call of Duty entirely, no. I'm just not going to be playing the new games. There's, I'm obviously going to go back and play some of the older games, but some of the newer ones are not going to be fun. And you guys know why. So thank you guys so much for watching and listening, and I hope to see you guys in a future video. See ya.